let's do it. Back with another little Cuberton who's in this pod. Just me? Okay. Just me. Hello, it's me. I kind of like Through the Breach here. It's a good starter. I feel like we never draw both Through the Breach and the fat creatures we want to Through the Breach. This actually gives us a good direction to go in. There's no reanimate cards. There's a Tefri, which is nice, but he's two colors. Plus, if Inferno Titan or Shonder or like Deep Cavern Bat or Ophiomancer even come back, I think it's very good. So, I think... I think Through the Breach is also not the not only the best pick, but also uh, it sets us up for some other good ones in that pack. Zella, you missed it. You were too late. Unbelievable. Put it in the second pack. Hmm. Ashy. Vampiric Tutor, Death, and Exhume. Wow, Shut this is, this is a pack. Oh, a little ghosty. Do a solid for your favorite clump, your favorite clump of possessed moss. Draft one for ghosty. <laughs> Draft one what for ghosty? I think tutor is a little better. God, death is good though. Tutor is anything. I'm going to take tutor. Thanks, little ghosty. <laughs> That's my favorite little ghosty. Ancient Tomb. Dark Rituals, nice. Oh, Jesus. Check out this new mana drain. This mana, not mana drain. This new mana leak that was just spoiled. No more lies. White, blue, instant. Counter a spell unless the controller pays three. If that spell is countered, excel it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. That seems sick. Yeah, this pack is basically Fiery Confluence, Dark Ritual, or Ancient Tomb. I do like Ancient Tomb with Through the Breach. I do like Dark Ritual. I do like Fiery Confluence. I'm going to take the Confluence. I think Confluence is just an absolute blowout sometimes. Eh, Marsh Flats is pretty good here. Yeah, I think Marsh Flats is probably the best pick here if we're just black red. Ulamog? Ulamog is good good with through the breach. We'll be Ulamogging. If Flame Tongue, Duretti, or like one of these two duels comes back, I think that'd be fine. Badlands. Yeah, we're taking a Badlands for sure. I do love Woodfall Primus, but I think having an actual black red dual land to get with Marsh Flats is going to be the best we can ask for. This pack, however, is the worst we could ask for. Mana Scallions. <laughs> yeah, and then you can have Mana Onion. So you could just have the whole the whole trio. That would be good. This pack's pretty bad. Uh, I guess we just take Odawara. Maybe Sacred Foundry? I don't know. I'd rather take a Fetchable Dual Land than a non- that oh blood tithe harvester is pretty good yeah that seems fine chandra did come back fantastic man if ancient tomb or dark ritual comes back i'm gonna be stoked is garlic in the same family as onions leeks and babe where are you going you going to the Mc... you going to the mcd's i'll take a diet coke Fashion Rider. Love it. I don't get this mana ramp is a real thing joke. What's going on with it? I don't mind Cathar Commando. Stoneforge is pretty decent. And I'm glad we took this Sacred Foundry.
ramps are also onion like what the fuck is a ramp i've literally never heard of a ramp and i feel like i'm pretty 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 informed oh yeah i'll take a parallax wave Fucking mana ramp, dude. Leave it to Stuart. Oh, the Doretti came back too? Get out of town. None of the ramp came back, and our black cards are pretty cut. Mm. Not ramp. Reanimate. Mm. Okay, whatever. Not exciting. This card does not does not deserve to be in the queue, I'll be honest with you. Hmm. This pack's pretty interesting. Kolagon's Command, I think, is the most powerful card. I think Gut is also super cool, especially if we have a way to make tokens. But I think Gut will come back. I think we can just take Kolagon's command here. And then, like, honestly, if Seething Song, Gut, Prismatic Ending, or Brutality comes back, I think it's very good. I think... So, yeah, I like Song a lot, obviously. I've spoken highly about that. But I, I think this will come back more than this. Windswept Heath seems good. Lurus is interesting. We are kind of a Lurus... No, or not really. It should just be Path or Night's Whisper. Path feels important. I feel like it's good to have early stuff. But again, like, I don't even know if we're playing white. The only white card we have is Stoneforge Mystic. So I think we just take Night's Whisper. Yeah, that seems fine. I do like Reprieve, though. <laughs> uh, Necromancy is definitely the pick here. We're definitely taking a Necromancy and trying to either pick up more reanimate stuff or pick up more big things. And Fatal Push might come back, maybe. This pack's not terrible. Oh, Grief? Yeah, we're definitely taking Grief. Being able to Grief and then do the thing you're trying to do is fantastic. I'd be okay if Glorybringer or Shattered Sanctum came back. Snuff out is free. Restless Vents is another dual land though, which I think we want. Um, yeah, I think this is totally fine. Oh, Shallow Grave for and we had Eldrazi. Yeah, definitely taking Shallow Grave here. A braid is another great consideration there. <coughs> Yeah, I think this is looking good so far. Misery Shadow is just a guy. I don't think Dreams of Steel and Oil is worthy of being in here either. Um, just choosing an artifact or creature just doesn't get the job done. A lot of times you want to choose Disruption. Yeah, I think it's I think Misery Shadow is better than Carry Zev for our deck. We're going to put this guy in the sideboard. This deck's looking good so far, but I've seen that a lot of decks that end up looking like this that are not, uh, that don't end up doing very well. I would like some more early removal. We did pass Fatal Push and Snuff Out, but we took two cards that were better for our strategy, so. 
I would love disruption. I would love a thought seize or a duress or something that can actually hit cards that are trying to prevent us from doing the things we want to do. But we have a whole other pack as well, so. <clears throat> Anything could happen. Goldspan Dragon. Man, I love a Goldspan Dragon. Yeah, I'll take a Goldspan Dragon. I mean, especially if that Seething Sog comes back. What is this, 1923? So, yep, there's a Seething Song. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, Seething Song is great with both uh, Goldspan and Through the Breach. Yeah, that's pretty good. Lingus would be great. We actually have Martial Arts and Sacred for it, too. Oh, Luris came back? I like Binding. It's always going to cost three currently. So not always, maybe. It's currently going to cost three. Uh, God, what does Luris even get back? Just Misery Shadow, Harvester, Marsh Flats? Not even Marsh Flats. I think we're going to take Binding here. <clears throat> Bray's Apprentice. Uh, I wish this was a, a rummage effect rather than an S card the top. S card? Exile the top card. S card is when you discard and exile at the same time. I still think this might be fine. I think it's probably better than... No, well, let's take the Dam. Dam could be a Wrath in our deck. Epicure does, but I don't want to have to play Epicure as the only problem. <laughs> like, Epicure does let us discard, but that requires putting a 1-1 one, one for 1 that doesn't really do anything else in our deck. Like, whereas at least Blood Tide Harvester is a guy, you can kill a creature, like, it's got a lot of versatility. That's why, that's one of the reasons I don't think Epicure is even worth, like, because then it costs 2 mana to do that as well. Like, whereas Putrid Imp at least just lets you discard for free. So, like, on turn three, you could go Putrid Imp into Discard, into Reanimate. Or even turn two, I guess, if you have, like, Reanimate itself. Um, whereas, like, a card like Epicure... Like, if you're making the the Blood Token, I want to get, I wanna get a, a decent body off that thing as well. <clears throat> All right. There's a Mana Crypt and a Mock Sapphire. <laughs> okay. Well, then... It's got to be Mana Crypt, because Mox Sapphire is going to be colorless mana for us anyway. So Mana Crypt is literally just an upgrade for what Mox Sapphire is trying to do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially when we have, like, Chandra, Fiery Confluence, Duretti, Grief. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and Atraxa. <laughs> uh, oh, and, and Animate Dead. Oh, boy. The funny thing is, if Atraxa, Titan of Industry, or Triplicate Titan come back, I would be fine with all of those. And I'm pretty sure I'd just take Baleful, Animate Dead here. <laughs> if Baleful Mastery comes back, I would also be fine with that. Yeah, definitely taking Animate Dead here. Demonic Tutor. If Othari or Haunted Ridge comes back, 100% fantastic. Definitely taking Demonic Tutor. Wow, this is looking great. We have Vampiric Tutor and Demonic Tutor now. Okay, well, we're going to put all of these in the sideboard because I want to make sure we have... Yeah, we still get at least three three picks. And we might not play Duretti. Duretti's a discard outlet, but that's basically all he's doing. It's a four-mana deck Faden, essentially, in our deck that can't steal a thing. Well, there's that Emrakul. And we have Shallow Grave and Through the Breach. I was definitely hoping to see an Emrakul, I'll be honest. And the only other card I would even pick is Recurring Nightmare, but we don't even have the creatures for it. Yep, definitely taking Emrakul.
The vampire or the demon? I guess they're both teachers, so they probably wouldn't fight. Who? Oh, you're talking about demonic tutor and vampiric tutor? Yeah. Yeah, they're both teachers. They're both in it for the education. It's not the violence. It's the education. Palantir seems great, as always. Especially if we flip an Emrakul off of it. Um, Oliphant, not terrible. Restless Bivouac is okay. Vindicate is interesting, but I'd rather take a Fixing Land. <clears throat> I don't even hate Lotus Petal, to be honest. If we can go like... I mean, the dream is to go Mana Vault, Mana Crypt Land, Seething Song through the Breach creature, right? Yeah, let's take Oliphant here. That gets us that gets us both Sacred Foundry and Badlands, which is nice. Plus, I think it's better than Bivouac. Interesting. We have eight creatures, three of them are this big. We have Misery Shadow and Blood Tithe Harvester at the two drop, nothing at the three. Grief at the four. I'm just wondering how viable Smuggler's Copter would be for us. I think Phyrexian Flesh Gorger is fantastic here, actually. It's it's a great three drop. It's also a great creature to reanimate. So I'll gorge some flesh. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst is great. We wanted more small removal. Dothy Voidwalker is great. Wow, nothing came back. Atraxa, Titan, or... Um, God, what was the other one? Triplicate Titan. Jeez. Titan of Inish. Both Titans are gone. I'll take Baleful Mastery, though. Take Shield Breaker, I guess. Um, Scrapwork Mutt lets us discard, actually. I think that is a little more important. Wow, I'm kind of surprised that none of those cards came back. I'll take Dam Mutt now that we have Baleful Mastery and Blood Chief's Thirst. Dothy Voidwalker was a pretty good hit. We can probably take Misery Shadow out. Take a Magda. Liquid Hot Magda. I think we just take Leyline Binding out. Like, we don't really need it. This is 24. We need one more cut. Everything else seems good. Wow, I'm surprised none of those three, none of the three creatures or the lands came back. Jeez, that's wild. One more cut here, huh? Everything else seems good. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, well. I don't think it's Mud. Mud is the easiest way to discard early. And other than that, like we don't have many ways to discard early for Necromancy and Shallow Grave and Animate Dead. Hmm. We don't need white, so that's good. We can just play these three and Mana Crypt. I definitely don't think it's Chandra. I love Chandra. Super hurts. I'm vetoing all of your, all of your suggestions. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to cut Knight's Whisper. Like we have Palantir, we have Chandra for cards. We have Vampiric and Demonic Tutor to get the exact cards we want. Uh, it's definitely not Seething Song. <laughs> Seething Song is busted when you can go turn turn one through the breach, turn two through the breach, turn three through the breach, or Goldspan Dragon. Um, yeah, Seething Song is like actually a key part of this deck.
Yeah, I think it's just Night's Whisper. Weirdly, I think that's <clears throat> probably the best option here. So, no white. Six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And then we'll figure out which one we want more of. I think it's black. Yeah, I thought it was black. Plus, we have a Mountain Cycler and we have double black card on turn two. <clears throat> I mean, even if we don't throw the breach when they haven't played a land, like you can still do it. I mean, you know, we can still do it on the next turn or the turn after that with Seething Song. You know, I, I mean, like, yeah, cutting, like, plus just turn one Goldspan Dragon is also a great turn two or three Goldspan Dragons, great. <clears throat> turn one Chandra is great. Like, I mean, that's assuming, like, we get Mountain Mana Crow Seething Song. But it's not impossible, and Seething Song is really good. Like, when the backbone of your deck costs five mana, like, a card that's that exactly ramps you to that is very good. Now I'm going to get wrecked, and I'm not going to ever have Seething Song when I need it, or I'm going to have it when I don't need it. But that's besides the point. Let's play first. Okie dokie. <laughs> Seething Song through the Breach, Emrakul. All we need is land. Okay, that's land. I'll take this. Keep. Pitch a Swamper. Dunzo. I mean, you could say that about any card, right? Like, what if you draw Dark Ritual when you can't use it? Like, what if you draw Mind Twist when they have no cards in hand? I mean, that's literally just magic. Let's yield to the end step. It appears that Dr. Neil is home. I, too, will get a black red land. Do we cycle this guy? I don't think so. Okay, well, this is an exciting hand. We have tons of two and three drops. <laughs> so only having necromancy is kind of funny. Great. I do like that. Let's see what we can get here. Should we just get Vampiric Tutor? That seems good, right? <clears throat> Coligon's Command. I, a Palantir seems great here. Like, if we get Seething Song, we don't have anything to put into play with it. No, I think Seething Song is one of the few rituals that does not matter if you have Storm. Like Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, Cabal Ritual, I think those are all Storm cards because you're just netting one mana. Netting two mana off of Seething Song is actually where you want to be. Like, I think that's the big difference. We could just get Emrakul and then hope to draw like Seething Song. It's kind of meh. We could get <clears throat> mana crypt and then just like cast something next turn if we draw it. I think it's Palantir. Palantir feels right, but they're playing black red. <sighs> it's actually pretty tricky. We'll have three mana next turn. Emrakul with the Breach is good. It leaves us open to both Mana Crypt and Seething Song, which I don't hate. Is that it? I don't think, we don't have double black. I don't think we take Grief. Then we need a black as well. 
Everybody does take 12. I think Palantir gets us back in this game. And by back in this game, I mean it lets us play things and draw cards. Solid. Oh, boy. All right, well, no blue yet. So that's an interesting... <clears throat> This guy. Oh, interesting. Uh, put this on top and then this on top of that. If they want to get rid of grief, that's fine. We have necromancy for it next turn and we also have, yes. And now we just draw mana crypt. That's pretty good. Also the damage off Palantir is extremely relevant if we're trying to through the breach uh, an Emrakul. <clears throat> Whoa. What? That's interesting. What in the earth? Oh, man. What do I make of that? Shallow Grave, Oliphant. They take six. So we need three black for these two, which we don't have. Oh, we get to draw still. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> eh, that didn't do anything. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. I was going to necromancy our grief. I think it's just Dothy Voidwalker. It's not exciting. But also Blood Tide Har Blood Tide Harvester. Just hitting them for six does not seem great. I'll just void walker here. It's not the most exciting, but Yeah, okay. Uh bottom both of these. Oof. They just hit 13. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. So you're at three now, huh? And I have a... Well, you gotta kill this guy. Okay, you got it. Alright, gotta draw something here. Chandra kills him. Doesn't put it... Oh, uh, Chandra kills him like two turns though, doesn't she? <clears throat> I do think we want to kill their only creature though. Well, we're going to draw whatever we hit here. So bottom, bottom. We've hit like seven lands off Palantir. Oh, that's a good one. Interesting. Discarding that and then shallow graving, it should do the job, especially with Menace. And they have to pay life equal to its toughness to deal with it. So I'm pretty sure that's the end of the game. My God. The amount of damage they took off Palantir, dude. They took four from Grief, 11 from Ulamog, and then two from Scrapwork Mutt. They took 17 damage off of Grief. Or off of Palantir. I don't know. People undervalue this. This card is bananas. 
Yeah, that's fine. Zerganorb's kind of a bummer, but... Oh, no. God damn it. Why? Cyrus Blood Tithe Harvester, we're X number of blood tokens. So we can kill this guy. And then, yeah, that's fine. We just kill this guy and do it next turn. <clears throat> it's two times the number of blood tokens, right? X is twice the number of blood tokens. We can also just attack <clears throat> and get to be the monarch. Uh, heads. One. Nailed it. Mountain. Great, great, great. Uh, kill this guy. Actually, how much mana do we have? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we could use Seething Song here <laughs> to, to hard cast this guy and then use Blood Tithe Harvester to get the monarchy back. It's seven. Just cast it. And we get an extra blood token here, which is kind of nice. And we get the monarchy, and we have Palantir, so... <laughs> kind of a perfect storm. They have to sack a land here, yeah. <clears throat> so they go to two, which means they actually can't even kill this because it has ward. They'd have to sacrifice three lands to go to eight... Play this, and then we can just rummage after this. Oh, we got our Voidwalker back too because of the Palace Jailer. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, choose you as the opponent. Draw. And... Tommy Voidwalker, really? <laughs> oh, I do it to upset you. Get rid of your stupid little graveyard. Okay, you got that. Pitch this mountain, right? Oh, through the breachy. This has to be lethal, right? Oh, Vampiric Tutor. Okay. That just wins us the game, right? Let's get this guy... Pitch. Necromancy, I guess. Okay, that'll do. <clears throat> uh, what 
do they have? Misery Shadow, does that do anything? No, it's only creatures, right? I think we're fine like this. I mean, this is just a turn turn three guy, right? Yeah, the problem is with, with Leyline Binding, which it's never going to be less than four mana okay yeah this is a fair mid-range hand and a very unfair oh good get that guy nice and early Okay. Did I get the Ember of Shieldbreaker? No, I think I took the Scrapwork Mud over it. Fascinating. Okay, well... <laughs> I guess we just play this guy as a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, next turn if we attack with these two and this guy, it's 8 damage. Puts them to 6. And we get a loot from this guy and we have plenty of lands to loot away. That seems fine, if that's what you're doing with your turn. Weathered Wayfarer. You got it. Okay, yeah, we're definitely looting here. Yes. Swamper. Oh, through the breach. Okay. We're getting close to the to the sweet spot. And you block here or do you go to six? I went to six. All right. And this guy seems good just because they have to either pay life equal to its power to kill it, and if they do, we can necromancy it.
just taking, taking their time. Lots of decisions here. Okay, crack tarn, go to five. Got it. Actually, between Restless Vents and the Blood Tokens, like, we have a good amount more discard than I expected us to. Well, we were hoping for, <clears throat> kind of hoping for an Emrakul there. <laughs> I mean, what's our option here? We have, we can't necromancy anything. We can't through the breach anything. So do we just bloodthirst this guy and put them to fewer blocks? Probably. I don't want to loot yet because I want to be able to attack with this guy. If we loot, we're also not going to be able to through the breach, and we have to discard first, so we can't actually necromancy. It doesn't actually help us with either of our of our desired plays. Cryptic command. Yeah, I think they're choosing modes. Yeah, this has to be cryptic command or mystic confluence, both of which are very good. Flash. Okay. Ashen Rider. Yeah, that's good. Gets rid of two things. I hope they target the Flesh Gorger. <laughs> okay. Oh, they targeted the Flesh Gorger? Oh, that's no good. They go to two. Okay. Now we can necromancy it next turn. I guess they have to like make a guy and block. Oh, they just didn't do that either. Oh, they're paying costs. Okay, I guess they have removal for this. Nope, it's too late. <laughs> We're past the blocker step. What? Oh no, dude. Oh boy. That was... That was no bueno. Well, that was a uh, <laughs> an awkward situation. The person likely destroying their monitor or keyboard after that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Oh. Any day now. Any day now. I'll just pause it until I get back. Okay, we did it.
We'll keep this hand. Could go mountain into Badlands into Shallow Grave. Olafon. Hmm? It's not very good. Oh, Chandra I like, though. That's interesting. Huh. Mana Crypt next turn will be bananas. Oh, boy. What is this nonsense? Hmm. I see. Thran Dynamo is just a Misha's workshop that can that can cast things that aren't artifacts. What are we vampiric tutor here for? We could go Oliphant for Badlands, Badlands for Tutor. Yeah, I like that. It gives us a third land guaranteed, so I like that. Yeah, and then we'll see what they do, and then we can tutor for something. Could I get Goldspan Dragon and just attack with it? This is eight artifact mana or five regular mana. That's six artifact mana. Or six regular mana or nine artifact mana. They just hard cast triplicate titan. <laughs> Sentinel. Okay. It's not as scary as it could have been. Sentinel and... Batter Skull. Interesting. You can't bounce Batter Skull currently. So let's... Oh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll use a black mana for that. Let's see what we can get. We could have five red mana. We could Fiery Confluence, kill Dynamo, Batter Skull, and Lotus Petal. That seems pretty decent. That's probably the best option, right? Oh, it's too bad we can't Chandra and then Fiery Confluence or one mana shy. That would have been much better. So cast, destroy three artifacts. This one, this one, and this one. I mean, now we have Baleful Mastery and Blood Chief's Thirst for this guy. Yep. Channel, huh? Considering how much mana you had last turn, that doesn't seem great. Yeah, put that in the graveyard. I'll take four and then we'll kill this guy. Hopefully we'll draw land here. Coalition Relic. That seems good. So we kept that. Oh, God. <sighs> it's unfortunate. <laughs> Fourth land would have been great. Yeah. I mean, I guess they're just drawing a card here. Urza, very good. Palantir. That feels like just the thing we have to do here. 
Oh, I want both of these, but I want the Mana Crypt more. So if you want to give me the Void Walker, that's fine. I doubt you do. So this guarantees us getting Mana Crypt. I feel like they're a little bit farther ahead than we are. Sammy, what's up, my dude? I mean, we're actually not too far behind if we can get rid of these two, which we can. They do get to kill Chandra, but that's fine. Uh, bottom this, top this. If they put this in the graveyard, we get to shallow grave it. They didn't? <laughs> Why not? You're at 18. Why did you give that to me? We can discard it to grief, though. No, we can't. We exile it. Dang it, I always... I get the discard and the exile confused. I guess they're just done putting putting cards in the graveyard. That's interesting. Okay, lots of things happening. Wow, blinking coveted jewel is with this placer kitten is absolutely nuts. Yeah, that's 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 too good. I can't. I'm not gonna. We're not fighting against that. Blinking at every turn. Come on. That's insane. Everything feels good here. We just had a pretty rough draw. Let's just get a better draw. Um, I mean, this is turn two tutor into like mana crypt. Turn two blood tithe harvester. Yeah, this is fine. Mana crypt is just a seething song you can use every turn. That's good. Palantir is good too. Voidwalker and Necromancy. Put both on top. They'll hit a Void Walker, I'm sure. Oh, I thought I hit, didn't I not put both on top? I'd put two on top. So why did I lose? Oh, do I am I drawing the Void Walker? That's not what I wanted to do. 
I guess I put them in the wrong order. Sad. Very sad. I think with, they have two lands. I think we're blocking and killing the Elvish Mystic here. Does this guy have... Okay. Um, yes. Okay. What? <laughs> Can I easily use a sorcery? Oh, God. Yep. Sork CPD. I hear ya. I hear ya. Yep. That's... There's so many new abilities. Like, the blood token you can activate as an instant, but this you can only activate as a sorcery. Yep. That's my bad. Yeah, I think we're just killing this guy. But do we let them draw a card and then also play Voidwalker? That seems correct. Is the tempo we get from Voidwalker worth it? Um, I'm going to bottom both of these. I like a grief. And Palantir, they they have the fear. Yeah, like it's funny because blood token, instant speed. Map token, sorcery speed. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, get rid of my harvester. Seething Song. One, two, three. That gives us five. We are one mana shy of like... We'll just play grief here because next turn we can go three for seeding song we'll have one mana if we have a second mana we can just go get emerical ah oh, urza no second blue dynamo tutor coveted jewel triplicate titan you have one two three you have four mana and the second blue yeah we're definitely taking urza here Throwing Dynamo is cute, but it ain't doing you any favors. I mean, ideally we just hit a land off this. Or the Emrakul himself. Herself? Itself? Uh, bottom this, top this, because I just want the land. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Great. So next turn, we get to go search for Emrakul. Oh, they're upkeeping. To get channel. That's fine. Like, my creatures are going to be unblocked. So if you, if you play Jewel, like, both of these are going to be unblocked, which is six. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it's going to end well for them, like knowing their whole hand. They've cast Channel, they cast Dynamo, they played Island, so now we know they have these two. They got to go to six, and these two are six. Oh, okay, they've changed their mind. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute, I might die. Yeah, well, yes. Okay, they're at four. Well, let's go get Emrakul.
Does Ashen Rider exile? Oh, it does. So what's let's see let's see Emrakul does. Oh, they just we just win the game. <laughs> That's kind of funny. If we got Emrakul, they'd sack six permanents. They'd probably sack Titan, which gives them a bunch of blockers. So in this situation, I think Ashen Rider getting rid of Triplicate Titan is better. And they just die to that. But they didn't even want to see. They didn't even want to witness. Actually, Dam might be decent here. They have a good amount of creatures. I don't hate Magda, to be honest. Ramping to four seems relevant. Ramping to five seems even more relevant. Colagon's Command and Fiery Confluence seem great against them. Everything else seems good. Like, our deck seems good. I think Dam might be better than Mastery since we haven't seen any Planeswalkers from them. And it doesn't exile, so our Necromancy and Animate Dead are still alive. That does seem a little better. Interesting. Keep... Hmm, that's very good. Channel. Fascinating. Well, that might just beat our whatever we have planned. Coveted Jewel. Oh, wait, we can actually... Oh, this is interesting. We can Oliphant here. Shallow Grave. Draw the cards off of this. Oh, that's interesting. Don't play a creature. Play like a, an irrelevant artifact. And you're going to play an Urza? Urza's really good off this. Jesus. Yeah, this is pretty good. I think we're dead. Unless they really whiff. And this also has to be unblocked, not... Yeah, that's fucking bananas. <sighs> land, land, Coveted Jewel, Displacer Kitten Channel. That's a great five cards. Great. Get Lotus Petal, Blink the Coveted Jewel, get three more mana. Our hand seemed pretty good. Oh, it's Mox Emerald, not Lotus Petal. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Mm, boy. Yep, Batter Skull, Blink the Coveted Jewel. <laughs> Jesus, God, how is this real? I mean, this is the, the most unreal opening I've ever seen. Hmm? Blinking Trinket Mage. I guess to get Lotus Petal? Mox Opal. That, that is better, I guess. Now Blink the Coveted Jewel. Nope, Trinket Mage again. I thought we were going to do some cool stuff with this hand. Like Vampiric Tutor for Mana Crypt. Play the Mana Crypt. They're done? Wow, they drew 12 cards that turn. <laughs> 
Oh boy. I guess we're getting Mana Crypt here. I wish I had Lotus. I guess we're taking 8 going to 10. Ugh, they're just going to be able to get back their stupid Batter Skull, though. That was really the turn we needed things to happen. If this is a Badlands instead of a, a Swamp, we could have killed this and dealt two to all creatures. Yeah, we're not gonna... This is this is actually nonsense. <laughs> like, all right. Well, what can you do? All right, let's go. Uh, it seems fine. We get a bad lands. It's a lot of lands, but we get to cast things eventually. We also have a lot of two and three drops, so. Playing this first because we do have double black cards. So yield to the end step. Basic mountain. Nice. Okay. Yep. Good times. Uh, the the uh, the ideal scenario would have been thinning our deck to get fewer fewer islands. Fewer lands rather. They played an island, so I said islands. Two or three drop that we can play profitably. Okay, fantastic. Love and life. Well, Fire Confluence next turn could be good, depending on what they play. But, you know, feels like our deck should have. Well, that's pretty good. Do not think we have a great answer for that guy. Uh, it's kind of the creature we hoped you didn't have. Firebolt, Arc Trail, Narset, Ferocidon, Copter. Like, uh, it doesn't matter. I guess Arc Trail. Well, you can still play Arc Trail and Copter if you hit a land. You can play Firebolt and any of these two if you hit a land. How is this even... These terrible... These draws, man. This is absolutely... Horrendous. Like, I would say, like, man, we have so many big things in our deck. It makes total sense. But, like, we literally have, like, 12, 2, and 3 drops. Yeah, that's what we figured you'd do. Oh, that's that's good. Okay, you did not hit a land. So, Arc Trail is gone. Through the Breach for an Ashen Rider. Swamp. Got it. Cast... Yep. 
Yep, and this guy sticks around because he's a real son of a bitch. <sighs> Every time I want to put True Name back, I'm always like, well, that's really hard to deal with and not very fun, so... Really? You play that instead of Frost and I want him at 10. Interesting choice. And then you whiffed. All right. I mean, we're so close to casting this. We have white mana. Seething song. <laughs> oh, the irony. Kyer's the irony. All right, well. Oh, boy. Let's bring in Dam. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cards before turn 4 that we could have drawn. To be fair, not all of them do something, right? Like Shallow Grave and Animate Dead might not have an effect, but the fact that we only drew like 4 drop, 4 drop, 6 drop, 8 drop is... I don't know. Kind of silly. <sighs> I don't actually know how to deal with a true name nemesis short of like discarding an Eldrazi and then putting it into play and then and, and annihilating. I mean, one turn where I get like Scrapwork Mud, Eldrazi, Shallow Grave. Like, could we do that one time? I feel like it's, it just never happens. We'll just play 41. It's fine. <sighs> Come on. Well, we got Shallow Grave and a discard outlet, but no Eldrazi. <sighs> this might be, if we hit a Black Source, this hand is very good, right? We get to go Harvester, discard Ashen Rider, Shallow Grave it. I'll keep this. I mean, I figure we have like eight black sources and an Oliphant. So nine cards out of 34. It's like, it's better than one in four. Sure. Interesting. That's not it, but all right. <sighs> Hey, that's pretty good. Arc Trail and Firebolt are both sorceries. So if they want to do that, they have to do it on their turn. Ashen Rider is such an easy discard here. It wasn't. I wonder if they were hoping to trigger prowess off that, and then they're like, wait, why didn't it trigger prowess? All right, them tapping out is great for us. Yeah, this is fine. We're just going to kill like Carrie, Zev, and Malcolm with the Ashen Rider. Okay, this actually feels like it could be okay. Okay, lands are picking up. We're picking up steam. Hmm. 
Let's get rid of Malcolm. Oh, it doesn't die though. That's unfortunate. You only get one trigger. It's not a leaves the battlefield guy, you know? Which means you could have actually done it at sorcery speed and block or at instant speed and blocked, but here we are. Yep. One trigger. That's sad. All the little the little details are what's making the difference in these games, I think. Seems good. I mean, they just kill Blood Tithe Harvester, right? And then I have nothing on board. Sure. I'm pretty sure we go get Glory. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to 11. Then we go to nine. Do we get Glory Bringer and just Glory Bring? Not Glory Bringer. Uh, gold, gold Span Dragon. Hmm, fiery confluence that doesn't hit planeswalkers ever right no would be great here yeah let's get gold span Still feels like we're a little far behind here. Rabbit Battery gives haste as well, and they have four power on board, so that's not great. Double black cast. Uh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they play any spell, we're just dead, so we kind of have to do this, but I would... Oh, man. If there was a way we could use the treasures next turn to Wrath, that would be great, but does not feel like we have the luxury of doing that. I think we're just dead here. This is sad. This deck definitely felt like better than a 1-2. A well, she doesn't have haste. Oh, yeah, she does with Rabbit Battery. Yep, that's pretty good. 4-5. This is 7. We go to 1 here. Jesus. Yeah, there's not much that can save us. <laughs> yep. Great. Yeah, great. All right, one, two. That's a pretty sweet reanimate deck, I thought, but what are you going to do? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.